So if I just start screaming because of quick movements or I got to bend down, uh, just ignore that. That's just a natural thing that I'm going to have to deal with for the next week because yesterday I ran a marathon. I, I literally paid to just torture myself. And you start realizing as you go that your feet are getting mashed up. I knew I had blisters all across my feet. Okay, it was disgusting. I was just laying in bed and my knees were throbbing. I wasn't even moving. I wasn't even moving. I was just lying there resting. My knees were just throbbing. My lower back throughout the night, I couldn't move. My shoulder blades are killing me. I literally had to scream, like yell, as I was getting up to fight through the pain of how my lower back felt. Also, also, to all the guys out there, you know what this is. My beard got hit with the trimmer. I went too low. I went too low. Usually it's on a nine. I put on a six. I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. I'm too tired. Too tired. Boom. Did one of those right down the middle. I don't know why I start here. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I did one of those and I knew as I was cutting because I was looking down a little bit. I was doing one of these. Trying to get in the sink. Too much hair. Too much length is coming off. But I was already so committed. So... I got to rock this thing for about another week and a half. So beautiful start. Today we are making Japanese cheesecake. Look at this. Look at the stuff I had to buy for this. I had to buy this. I had to buy it. I had to buy mixing bowls. I bought a mixer. We're, we're stepping things up here. We're leveling up. We're going up. Okay. This also, I didn't realize, was going to take me like three and a half hours. And that's what she says on the recipe, which God knows. God knows this is going to take me minimum, minimum five and a half hours. I already know. I know I'm getting a little bit better, but I know deep down that this is going to take a long, long time. The inside of this thing. Okay, that... Quiet on set. You okay? Boom. We have to line this up. This is arts and crafts, baby. Okay. Already a little overwhelmed because I'm thinking, do I have to get like a pencil and measure this out? Like I have to get a ruler as well. I feel like I'm drawing, opening up a, a treasure map. That's what I'm doing here. And it is annoying me because it won't just stay open. It's like I'm a, I'm a contractor at this point cooking. I've clearly have never built anything in my life. This is all just free ball in this. I can already tell this is not straight. We're gonna get through this. This is not that big of a deal. I don't think. Just cut straight. Can't even, don't even know what I'm looking at. Works. There's pencil marks on here. That's not gonna affect. Am I supposed to like bring up, break out an eraser at this point? I, I'm cutting like an idiot. There is a line and I'm still not going down it keeps rolling up like a fruit roll up I would and when you have a fruit roll up you just shove the whole thing in your mouth like a crazy person like having butter in between your fingers that's a sensation that's new to me and it feels weird there's no question about it uh, ew how are you supposed to do this it looks like a fly trap right now this is like beyond infuriating this whole process this is stupid. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm no professional, obviously. I look like an idiot doing this. Okay. Preheat the oven. Perfect. This is going to be on forever. Take out everything from the oven. Here's my thing. Here's my thing with the recipes. Sometimes they put the measurements as you go or they just put them all at the top. It's good. Put them all at the top. That's needed. I need to know what I'm working with. But as I go, it would be good to be like, hey, add that 30 millimeter, yeah, 30 millimeters or whatever, three cups of milk into this. I don't want to go up and down and up and down and like have like a mental breakdown like clearly that I'm having right now. That's the oven. It's already done. And I haven't even cracked these eggs yet. Oh God. Ugh. Look at this. These eggs are breaking. 
And I don't know what to do. Maybe cooking the day after a marathon is not the best idea. Okay, I put the wrong one in. I guess these puppies can stay out. Overwhelmed, stressed out. Six ounces of cream cheese. What does that even mean? Well, how do I even get six ounces of cream cheese? See this technique? Remember last time I need three spoons. This time I don't even need a spoon. Flatten that out. Guys, I'm basically a professional here at this point. Boom, boom, done. Out with that. I just made up this technique on the spot. Flush, flush. What'd I say? Remember last time in the, these episodes? I'm like, oh, I'm milk. This oven is gonna be on for so long because I, I don't know how to cook. Boom. I didn't even finish the cream cheese. I need, an, I need more cream cheese. Oh my God. Overwhelmed, okay. Tablespoons and teaspoons. Tablespoons and teaspoons are gonna... There should be another measurement. They shouldn't, like... The fact that it's a letter separating them is a bit much. Need a different type of measurement. Give me, give me a couple O's and a G or something in there. You know, whatever. But like... TBSP and TSP, far too close. Far too close. Need more separation in the letter. New, make a new measurement. Make a new measurement. Make it easier on the people. Thank you. Okay. Not overwhelmed. Gonna take a break so I don't freak out. You guys want to hear this? The noise I have to make when I get. Watch this. I'm going to just. I'm gonna bend down. I'm gonna. I'm. At, I'm gonna squat. <laughs> I just wanted to show how much pain I'm in. <laughs> I kind of want to rush this, but I know I should not rush this at all. And then we'll start chefing this up, take this off, add in the yolks, boom, boom, boom. Then we're moving. Question, does anyone else? run marathons out here. I'd be very curious to know. Is this thing like too hot? No. Got water splashing everywhere. Okay, the steam is also a little aggressive by my hand. I don't even know what I'm looking for here. I just want to let you guys know, I took a break, took a 30, 40 minute break there. Getting a little overwhelmed, played some Fortnite. Yes, I am a grown man. Also, I figured out 10 episodes in, I think this is my fifth cooking one. Do the grocery shopping a day or two before. Like the production day is too much, right? Spread it out. There's one, okay. Oh. Or some of the, one, one broke. Okay, boom. Every single time I cook, I honestly, as you can tell, every single time I get way overwhelmed. I want to quit. I want to quit so bad. Then I got a whisk. Okay. And I do, I do that. I do that. Everything, all my problems go away. I'm just so happy. I'm so proud. I don't know why I'm doing this most awkward angle ever. I honestly don't have the energy to do this. My oh. Running a marathon and my upper body hurts. There's gotta be an easier way to do this. This cannot be the only way. I'm beginning to notice as well at the end of the videos from where I look physically in the beginning, first scene, to how I look and feel last scene, day and night, every single time. Every single time. It's just like, a mad scientist. Yes, this is the smallest zesting tool. This is not looking promising. Ah, whoa, okay. Focus, Just pay attention, you idiot. Okay, it's working, we're good. Perfect, 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 perfect. Very exciting, very, 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 very. Exciting. It says whisk and then put aside. Okay. It's been whisked. 
It's been set aside. How did this lady do this? Right now we're just waiting for the water to boil uh, and to put in this pan and then we're using the hand mixer, which I've never done before. I gotta think of a way to get boiling hot water into this pan without killing myself. Oh, I should have just boiled water in the kettle. Okay. I could not have done this any more backwards than I just like, it's that's a bit, okay. So what I can see is that my pan is not even and it is all flowing to one side. This is brand new. I did wash these, so don't worry about it. No iPhone storage. How am I supposed to film here? What's this? Okay. I feel like if I go any faster, this is going to start. Okay. It's not going to splatter everywhere. Ooh. This seems way too fast, but I've never done this before, so I need more photos, guys. Just tripping me out, man. Guys, I have no, I have no idea. This is taking forever. I'm getting bored. The shape is changing. The shape is changing. And thank God, because I started this at 1.30, including my break. It is 4.30 right now. 4.30! Slowly losing my mind. It's just like knowing once a week that I'm going to slowly lose my mind for four hours. Fold gently. I don't know what that means. Just doing this. Boom. Folding. Just... See that technique? Do a couple last folds. Hopefully this is what it means. Pour it into here all at once. Boom. Just went for it and I'm happy I did. Oh yeah, oh, there's air bubbles that are popping in here. Cook, timer, 70 minutes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 70 minutes. Uh, three, two, one, boom. My wife has headphones on because I have to perform in silence. I can't have people looking at me. Okay, so she's in the corner playing video games on the phone, not on the phone. It doesn't matter what my wife is doing. She's not helping me and that's final. Let's see if we got this. Oh, is that gonna be hot? Imagine if that was hot. Imagine that was hot. Okay. Hot. Hot. Boom. So, okay, that's a lot. All right, so one. I'm gonna mix this all up. So we're gonna take that. In the video, this just slides up. Oh my gosh. Why did that feel so good? Okay. Okay. Unreal. Unreal. I don't know. I. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that looks gentle, gentle, gentle. I feel like this, this is like the marathon that I just ran. I didn't, I kind of knew that I was going to be able to do it. And I think like most things I have a borderline base of confidence that I can kind of accomplish anything, which is great, but which can also lead to major breakdowns. I mean, baking something like this, pretty crazy. And it's a huge relief and it's just like patience. You know, I almost, I almost quit making YouTube today because of this, because of this cake. Why? I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what else to do. I think that's done. 
So it's finally time to eat. The thing is, after every single time I cook, I always think it's the best, always. But this one, you gotta like cook it for an hour and a half. Then you gotta open it and then cook it a little bit more. Then you gotta let it sit and then you gotta do all these things and then you're just staring at it. When I took this out, I was like, I'm the best. I might as well move to Japan and just start shuffling these things out through the door. I go sit down and watch an episode of Office. You know how it is. I'm starting to realize it's looking a little sad. It's not look. It's not having the fluff factor as it should. So, you know, I think it's gonna still taste good. It looks it looks delicious, but I think you know, there's not the the fluff, the pillow. You know, the reason why you buy these type of cheesecakes. So, I'm gonna slice it open, see where we're at. You see that? Okay, maybe not so sad. A little sad, but not as sad as I thought. Just like seasonal depression. You know, like you know you're still gonna be good. You know deep down you're okay, but it's like it's been two months of winter. Look at this. Look at that. This is, maybe I spoke too soon. It's not room temp. I think it's a little warmer than room temp, but it tastes good. It's nice. It's fluffy. It's cooked all the way through. Cooked all the way through. I took it out. I thought it was going to be unreal. I got back to it. I thought it was a little sad. I came back. I'm eating it. I'm happy again. This is the cake. Like when you go on those cooking shows and they're like, they're like, dude, this looks this looks rough. You know, there's some pockets in here. There's some air bubbles. And then they, they taste it and they're blown away by the flavor. Absolutely blown away. And that's what saves them. I ran a marathon yesterday. I can barely walk. Blisters up all over my foot. My lower back feels like I ripped it out. And I decided for you, mainly for myself, that I was going to cook Japanese cheesecake. I'm out of breath. I'm just happy. Last 40, last 24 hours couldn't have gone better. Other than my feet bleeding, I mean, sun's up, you know what I mean? We're good. Also, last thing, you see this hat? I found this hat not too long ago. Found it in the back of the, the closet. Don't, I, you know, don't really like it. You know, it's cool, it's decent. But if anyone wants it, you know, let me know in the DMs. Show, show me something in the comments. If you want it, it's yours. Maybe give me an offer because I don't want it. I think that's that's it. There's nothing else. And then I'll see you next week. I'm going to try and stay on its schedule, all right? I'm trying to do, I'm going to try and release once a week. It's just last two weeks, I've just been low-key stressed out about, you know, running this marathon. I had to stay focused and just carb load for two weeks. So I didn't do too much running. I just did a lot of eating. So... You know the drill, stay out of trouble. No fuss, no muss, no bother. Peace.